probably know, be known uh, forever as the author of the Caps Amendment, Lois Caps, Congresswoman Lois Caps from California. Oh, you are a wonderful sight. You are a wonderful sight. You are the medicine that we need right here. And in the Senate side, thank you all for being here. To those of you in the overflow room, for, to those of you who are listening, to our sisters and brothers across the country for whom we know that the story is not finished yet. And we're not going to stop until we get it right again. This has been a huge wake-up call, hasn't it? This is what we needed. Who knew? that we would be doing this today. You know, this is a bill that is so important on its own merits. It will do more for women's health than we ever had before us be until this point. So the bill is important to pass. However, the stakes are now really high. And the advocates are going to make all the difference in the world. Because I am one who cannot even envision voting for health care reform that takes us back on women's rights. We will not go there. And to say that for me, a school nurse who all my life has worked with those left out of the health care system, the young kids whose families worked hard every day to send them to school but didn't have health care. And we had to scramble and find people, the Lions Club, to get them glasses and all the rest of it. So this bill, this health care reform bill, this access to health care means everything to me. But it can only be effective as we know it. It will be effective because of the range of options that it gives to women. And we gave up a lot to be where we are today. Who of us loves the Hyde Amendment? Who of us? But we, we knew when this CAPS Amendment came before the Energy and Commerce Committee that we had already staked out our desire not to re-debate abortion. We'll save that for another day. We said, okay. We bit our tongues and we accepted that we cannot break down current barriers to accessing the full range of reproductive health care as a part of health reform. We cannot use health reform as a means to restrict access to millions of women who will purchase health insurance through the new exchange. So the, Sto the Stupak Amendment is not status quo. You know that, and it's up to us to convince the American people it is not status quo either, and particularly the members of the Senate who will be voting on this to give us the legislation that we can pass again in the House to right the wrong of the Stupak Amendment, to vote for a bill that will bring health care to millions of women and make sure that we stay on the path and give us the future that you all want. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Let's not